What's up guys, welcome to A Star for Bands and today I am back with another reaction video but before we get into that guys I just want to let you know that this video is brought to you by OneFootball it is the ultimate platform for football fans around the world from news to scores and stats they got you covered check them out, link in the description down below furthermore once you download the app, you can go to the following tab and you'll be able to find all your favourite competitions and teams regionally and internationally to add to your preferences. Once you do that, you can activate the push notifications and activate automatic notifications on your phone so you don't miss any news from your favourite teams, players and competitions. Furthermore, during your favourite games, you can look at the comments and results as the match is live where you can comment your reactions with an audience of over 20 million users you can also predict the scores prior to the match starting and test your knowledge by making bets during your favorite matches link in the description down below now listen guys yeah today i have got what a lot of you've been waiting for a libertadores reaction yeah we're back we're back you know what i mean there was a few fixtures yesterday that were a bit tasty um, Obviously once they were played they didn't turn out good for some teams But it's okay, you know, we go again, we go again However, one team that, you know, I heard did, did the business last night Was Atletico, Paranese, Parade. I don't know how to say this, I usually say PR Atletico, PR, it's easier for me, but I'm gonna try today Atle Atletico, Paraniense Atletico Paraniense. Yeah, let me know if I, I pronounce that correctly. But listen, guys, this is a team here yeah, that I haven't reacted to too much, and I feel like they deserve more praise. They're in the Libertadores, do you know what I mean? And, and I need to start reacting to them more. So we're gonna start today, yeah? I know you lot complain that I don't react to enough teams, well, here we go, yeah? And they are up against Boca Juniors, of course, finalists in the Libertadores last year. So this, this is a big opponent, do you know what I mean? This is a big opponent. Um, and it should be a good game. Atletico Parani Paraniense are at home, home advantage. But we'll see how it turns out. So, at this point, we better get into the reaction. I know, um, I know the Cotola FC has started, and I'll make a video of that soon. But I'm gonna need you guys to message me on Instagram and tell me what players. I have to have in my team because I need to know I need a bit of help in it you lot have got a lot more background knowledge than I do yeah so please let me know yeah what teams I'm what players just give me five players that I have to have in my team yeah because I need I need I need a tiny bit of help if I'm gonna win it this year I'm gonna win it but don't worry I'll make a league we'll get onto that in another time this is about Libertadores so let me get into position Listen, just call me A Star Hammers Rodriguez today, yeah? Come on. Alright, full screen. Three, two, one, play. Lúcio Gonçalves de um lado, Tevez do outro, justamente sobre o que falávamos os dois capitães de Atlético e Boca. O Boca joga fora de casa, joga com o seu uniforme número 2. Tá aí a fera, Carlos Tevez, campeão italiano, campeão inglês, campeão argentino, campeão brasileiro, por onde passou deixou lastro. Lúcio Gonçalves é o capitão do Atlético, campeão da Libertadores pelo River Plate. Ah, Carlos Tevez, ok. Pouco mais de três meses com o furacão. It should be interesting. See Tevez, he's already start, he's already trying to cause problems. You already know who I want to win, innit? You already know who I want to win. So Ah uh, come on man, someone's gotta attack these crosses. How's it going right through the middle of the goal? The perfect area, six yard box, and no one wants to hit that in. That is a bad miss. That is a horrible miss, my guy. What the hell are you, are you even a striker at this point? 
What the hell is that? that? was an easy free header. All you have to do is hit the target. Oh my gosh, again. Are you not joking? Are you not joking? Someone stand back post and hit that in. Oh. Great defending. Great goalkeeping. Wow, I thought, listen, that was looking dangerous. Finish! There we go! 1 0. Good reaction finish. You have to react quickly to that. He reacted faster than me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's crazy. Marco Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Is that his name? Uh oh. Hey, listen, yeah. Boca Juniors have been horrible in front of goal. Ref, go past him. Shoot. Ref, that's a foul, then, no? Last man. What's the advantage? Look at him. <laughs> Cloud. Finish that. Finish that. That's the second. Number nine. See that? I knew. I already knew. I knew a number nine was going to do the job today. I wasn't sure which one it would be, but luckily it was Mark Mark. Kurube. Uh, low key, it was, it was offside. It might have been offside. Don't you guys use VAR in Libertadores, or am I, am I, am I confused? Listen, I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. It, it looked offside, in it. I thought you guys used VAR, but if, if not, happy days. We move. Let's go. Oh, I, I was he shooting? That's crazy. That's crazy if you're shooting. It's been, listen, it's been all Atlético PR. Oh! Wow. This guy's reactions are crazy. Look, he's even got a patch now. Where did that come from? That's a hat trick. Hat trick hero. This guy's reactions. This guy should have a. This guy should make a reaction channel. Look at that. He's reacting fast to everything. That's crazy. I did not even know this guy before this match, and now he's got a hat trick against Boca Juniors in the Libertadores. He's doing his job. I don't know what happened to his cheek. There's something about that we don't know about. Of that being said, he's on job. Oh. See, that was Marco Ruby there with his, his, his 99 reactions. That would have been 4 0. That's the truth. And there we have it, guys. There we have it. That's kind of crazy to me, you know, that, because like, was it was it last year that that Atletico Paranaense, 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 nen, nen. was it last year that Atletico PR yeah won the uh, Sudo Americana, Sudo Americana, Salo Americana? I don't know. You lot call things a lot of names, innit? it? Which one is it? I'm not look. You don't know what I'm talking about, innit? The the Europa League version of of the South American tournament of the South American tournament. I think it's the Sudamer Sudamericana. Yeah. Did Atletico PR win it? I think they did, right? With that being said, to come up and play in the Libertadores against finalists, they were fine. Yeah, they didn't win it. I think it was River Plate that won it. To come up against finalists, yeah and batter them 
and dominate the game because based on those highlights, it looked like they dominated the game. I didn't see Boca Juniors have many chances. They had one where it was like a double block. Defender blocked it and the goalkeeper blocked it. That's all I remember. Other than that, they, they didn't have nothing. Oh, they had that other easy chance where the guy headed it. Benedetto or whatever his name is, yeah. Benedetto, yeah, him, yeah. Horrible miss, but that's what they had. So Atletico PR, they're looking like a force. Let me know if you're an Atletico PR fan, yeah. Did you expect that result? Because I want to know, like, maybe I'm I'm underestimating you guys. Did you expect this result or was this a surprise for you? Was this an upset? Do you know what I mean? Because upsets happen all the time. Man United you know, lost the Wolves yesterday. It was a sad day for me. But I will call that an upset. You know, because Man United are supposed to be the better team. Are Boca Juniors supposed to be the better team here? Is it an upset, yes or no? That's all I want to know, yeah? With that being said, listen, congratulations to Atletico PR. Because they did their job 3-0. That's a crazy result, do you know what I mean? I know they're at home, but still, like, they, they that was a good performance. And if they can continue like that, they will definitely be a force this year in the Libertadores, 100%. You know, that that's, that result has sent a warning to everyone. You know, listen, it might be our time. You know what I mean? That's all I'm going to say. But guys, listen, we're going to leave it there, yeah? Hopefully, maybe I'll get you another Libertadores reaction tomorrow based on what happens tonight. So make sure you're, you're commenting down below telling me what else you want to, what match you want me to react to, okay? And we'll leave it there. So, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then please make sure you're already smashing up that like button. As always, dive into the comments and let me know what else you'd like to see. Share the video because sharing is caring and subscribe. Come join the squad. Whoosh! Whilst that, make sure you follow me on all my social media and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time. Peace. Feel just like a rock star.